Let's turn to Tulsi Gabbard, former presidential candidate and Hawaii congresswoman. All right, Tulsi, I, I did not see this coming on the anniversary of 9-11. Can you believe that they just casually just sprinkle in January 6th and say that Trump voters are worse than al-Qaeda? Where do we end up at this point from here? Jesse, it, 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 I feel sick right now. Seeing you play these different clips, you know, I, like so many of my fellow service members, I enlisted because of those jihadist attacks on 9-11 to support and defend our Constitution, to protect our fellow Americans, and to go after and kill those who attacked us on that day. And it is despicable and outrageous to hear these people, to hear these people uh, say the things that they're saying, comparing our fellow Americans to terrorists. Actually, worse. They literally said they are worse than al-Qaeda terrorists. Um, this just shows how far they are willing to go, pushing our country to the brink of civil war, demonizing, targeting our fellow Americans as worse than al-Qaeda terrorists, all to hold on to their power. That's all they care about. Whether you're talking about the Biden administration, these talking heads on TV, U.S. senators, the Department of Homeland Security, the people who are some of the most powerful people in our country who have the strings of the national security apparatus at their fingertips, targeting our fellow Americans, just because they didn't vote for Joe Biden, all because they need they want to hold on to power. This, this is outrageous and should be concerning to every single American. And we got to see right through what they're doing. The timing of this is not an accident. We are just weeks away from the midterm elections. They are concerned that they will lose the seats that they have. And so they're, again, not caring about the consequences and the destruction to the country and the heart of the American people, willing to foment this fear to say, hey, don't you dare vote for these Republicans because they voted for Trump and they are traitors and they are a greater threat to our country than al-Qaeda jihadists. So, Tulsi, if your father died at the World Trade Center on 9-11 and you were inspired to enlist and serve in the U.S. military and you went overseas and you killed a lot of bad guys and kept this country safe, and if you come back to this country and you think the FBI helped Joe Biden get elected, the Democrats are saying you're worse than the al-Qaeda terrorists that you went overseas and defended our country from. Is there any way they can pull yeah. back from this? I, I don't see how they can. This, this is miles past barely tipping across the line. You know, there, there is one thing, Jesse, I want to tell you, I do agree with them on. There is a domestic threat to our democracy, and it is a very serious one, but it is not in the hands of a few powerless Americans who are pissed off and frustrated that our government is failing us. It is the threat coming from some of the most powerful people in our government, some of the people that I've talked about in the Biden administration, the national security state apparatus that's being weaponized against our fellow Americans, again, because they voted against the president or because they disagree with his policies, willing to sacrifice our country and our constitution, and our democracy, so they can hold on to power. We need to be clear-eyed about this and not allow it to happen. We can't fall for it. All right. Tulsi Gabbard, thanks for joining us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.